After the financial crisis, governments around the world were obsessed with their debt. We know what we owe, but we don't know what we own. Uh, this rests upon the idea and the fact that all governments own a vast amount of wealth, commercial assets that are not visible to the people running uh, governments. The rule of thumb is that every city has commercial assets at the value of about one or two times GDP. One third of that are the operational side, which are the utilities, water, electricity, transportation like airports, ports, buses, trains, etc. Then you have, that's really usually one third of the portfolio. Two thirds is real estate, which is much less visible because most governments lack a list of assets and evaluation of these, of these real estate assets. The classic example to show how a government could use their assets more efficiently according to its value, not its operational efficiency, is a parking lot. The um, traditional way to increase the revenue from a parking lot would be to increase either the fees that you pay for parking your car or the number of spaces in that parking lot. The other completely different way of doing it would be to say we have a piece of real estate we could build an office building or a residential housing here and then put a parking lot in the basement. So we still maintain the, social, the, the, the public service of a parking lot but we get you know, immense more value from having built a whole uh, tower block on that piece of real estate. We are staying away from the whole centuries-long discussion whether to privatize or nationalize. Instead, we are proposing a different way, and that is to manage these assets professionally and capture the whole upside, the whole value of these assets for the public good and not transfer any of that upside to the private sector, but rather keep it for the good of the whole society. The vehicles that are needed to, to manage these assets is is a pure, simple holding company. They have been used to, to very great success in Asia, in Europe. Hong Kong is one example, Singapore, of course. You have a similar type of vehicle in Copenhagen, which was set up 30 years ago, when the country and the city was really in, in big financial trouble, huge unemployment. And um, this was taking uh, properties in the harbour and from uh, old military bases between the city and the airport and develop them. And that has been so successful that the yield from this urban wealth fund has been able to fund part of the build out of the uh, urban metro. This concept would also work um, very well in less developed economies or, or the BRIC countries as an example, um, because it could be a trailblazer both for economic growth, but also to develop the public sector to fund their journey and, and increase their economic activity.